All right, so as you can see, I have unlocked Major Mancake, his back bling, the waffler, his pickaxe, the sweet clementine, and then the stacked with love emoticon, and lastly, the stacked spray. So in order to get these, obviously you had to do the Fall Guys challenge. So I did two videos about that. One, how to sign up and how to get everything situated and what the challenges actually were, plus the rewards. And number two, how I actually completed the challenges, which you may find a little more interesting. But now it's time to do a full gameplay and review of this free skin. So let's check this out. All right, so here he is in the locker, Major Mancake. So if you missed out on the original Mancake skin, and I do believe he was from Chapter 2, Season 5. Yes, Chapter 2, Season 5. This was a phenomenal skin. So we had the original Mancake skin, which looks very similar to the one that we just got. We had the Lonesome Hero one, which is a lighter green. Then we had the Dark Deeds one, which is one of my favorites. And then the Cake with No Name, which is my absolute favorite. And then you had the Super Styles, which were just okay. Nothing really special there. Now, one thing to note, this original Man Cake did come with a built-in emote called Syrup Slinger, as you can see right here. Shows off his Doc Holiday gunmanship, and then he pours the syrup all over his pancakey head. Are you kidding me? So a pretty sweet built-in emote. Again, not available for this brand new skin. So you can see they are definitely a little different. It appears that he has more pancakes on his stack, you can see. And that's just because on these, he's got a scarf that covers most of them. But you can clearly see his neck is exposed to more pancakes. And he looks a little buffer. I don't know. I think it's just because the armor he's wearing. This, of course, is the cowboy theme on the original man cake. And this looks like almost... I don't know, a combat army type guy, maybe. I don't know. So two great skins, but there's definitely a noticeable difference. Original Man Cake seems a little taller. Look at that. Oh, I didn't notice, but he has butter on his head, and the new one doesn't. There's no butter. He's got butter around his waist. Wait, does he have butter around his waist? No, he's got butter as ammo. <laughs> Such a fun skin. So the back bling is called the Waffler. It says, if you can't flap, waffle. And what has he got there? At first I thought that was a gun, but it's not. It looks like it looks like a nightstick or something. I don't know. So what's he got on his back? That is a giant waffle maker, which is the complete opposite of pancakes. But it literally says if you can't pancake, then waffle. So it comes equipped with some syrup there. It almost looks like a grenade jar of syrup. That is so unique. I like it. And I think, yeah, I'm seeing stuff splash out of there as well. Nice. And then Sweet Clementine for the pickaxe. It says, you're about to get a forkful. And it literally is a stack of pancakes on a fork. So actually, let's just compare the original. Because I can't remember what the original back bling even is. Oh yeah, so the original was the Breakfast Bounty. And it was this huge back bling. Instead of being filled with cash, it's filled with pancakes with syrup. So a little bit bulky there, but this one's kind of big too. You could actually run this with the new skin, and it would be just fine. Definitely matches. Okay, so for pickaxes, I definitely think the original Mancake pickaxe, Josie here, is way better. This awesome rifle with almost a bayonet on it, and then a few pancakes on top with butter as well, and syrup is dripping all over, whereas with this one, it's just a fork. Now, if you do have that OG Mancake skin, then you've also got the Flapjack Flyer, which comes with... Wow, that seemed a little glitchy there. It comes with, I believe, three different styles, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, the default will match the new skin we've got. We've got the Wheat Cake Wing, which is a lighter green. I'm not sure why it's all glitched. And then the Hot Cake Hang Glider, which has some orange in it. So we're going to go with the original one. And then again, if you have the OG one, you have the Dinner Dive as well. These are all from Chapter 2, Season 5. And lastly, you would have the Wrap, which is called the Pancake Posse. And it's animated. Pretty sweet. Now again, there's no built-in emote with Major Mancake. So let's hop into a match and see if he's animated, see what he looks like, see if he's worth that six to eight hour grind in Fall Guys. All right, here we go. It's been a while since I ran this glider. Oh yeah, it makes those disgusting syrupy noises. Listen to this, I'll be quiet. Oh, 
Oh, it's so gross. Definitely one of the most unique skins in the game, though. This entire set. I mean, look. There's butter flying out with syrup. And then the syrup literally flies at you out of the glider. Again, with the weird noises. But yes, this first default style of the glider matches perfectly. Ooh, it's the full nighttime effect as well. We gotta get down so we can check this skin out. Color scheme looks good. Oh, he does have butter on top of his head, and it moves. You can see that. Look at it slide all over the place. I didn't see that in the locker. That was weird. All right, so let's check this skin out. You can see he definitely drips a lot of syrup everywhere. Here's the pickaxe. Makes that gross noise as well. See if there's a contrail. Of course there is. A nice syrupy contrail. How about a splash? Yeah, you can see the syrup splash out of there. It's not bad. Let's spin him around. So the extra pancakes on his neck are definitely noticeable. Pretty clean. So the orange looks good in the dark. That orange syrup. Kind of grumpy eyebrows as well. Not bad. In the light, you can see the syrup actually turns a lighter color, clearly. Oh, jeez. This guy was trying to get me while I'm doing my review. See you, buddy. Ooh, that hurt. So in the light, you can see that the syrup on his back bling actually turns a red color. And then the syrup on top of his head actually turns a lighter orange. So you can see it matches quite nicely in the daylight with the wrap. That looks good right there. Yeah, just an overall clean looking skin. I landed right on my building. Are you kidding me? Not today, big fella. So I just wanted to point something out real quick because I lost the game. I think I came in fourth place. The guy had a flare launcher and knew exactly where I was. And I made the mistake of picking up the chug splash launcher instead of shockwaves. And it, it did me in. I mean, I couldn't get away. He knew exactly where I was. It was game over. But look, two below my name on the left there. Nate Hill was in my game. He died right after this part right here. That Doug guy right above me actually killed him, but I can't find where he is on the map. So I don't know, he was in my vicinity somewhere. It won't let me switch to him when I try to go to gameplay though. So he must not have been close enough, but he literally dies about 10 seconds after I unpause this clip. So I don't know where he was, but sure enough, I went to his stream right after this and he was loading up another match. So that was definitely him. That would have been so cool if I ran into him. But like I said, watching the top left, he literally dies in just a second. So there's seven, there, right there, he gets killed. But again, I don't know where he was. So that's unfortunate, he had six limbs already. And of course I was doing my review, so that's why I had one. So that's kind of cool, I got into the same game with Nate Hill, wow. So there you go, that is the free reward, Major Man Cake, the Waffler Back Bling, and the Sweet Clementine Pickaxe. You also get these two stacked with love, and then the stacked spray. Is it worth grinding? I would say so, especially if you didn't get the original Man Cake skin from chapter two, season five then you gotta get this one. I mean, it's free. Yes, it does take a lot of grinding, but you have until July 11th to do this. Plenty of time. Fall Guys can get quite frustrating. I would not recommend doing all six to eight hours of grinding of that game in one sitting like I did. It was overwhelming. I mean, you lose so many times, you get frustrated. So just play it sporadically for as much as you can handle. And again, you have until July 11th, plenty of time to do this. But the skin, the back lane, the pickaxe, they're so unique. They're so good. I love everything about them. And if I didn't have the Man Cake skin already, I'd be even more excited. But because I have the original, it's not as refreshing, but it's still pretty cool. Now, the real question is, what does Man Cake have to do with Fall Guys? I don't know why they didn't just make a brand new unique skin instead of a reskin of Mr. Man Cake. I don't know. But there you go. That's my gameplay and review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. 
And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.